Hello, well, once again, this is Bird Math, um, and we're still covering uh, functions and introductory calculus. Okay, and we are up to the introductory calculus part. Um, so, so one could say that um, calculus primarily deals with functions um, where one variable, uh, so. Uh, so it's a calculus uh, deals with functions where uh, one variable, let's say y, um, changes um, due to another variable. All right, we've we looked at functions heaps. We've looked at um, uh, y is equal to x um, squared, y is equal to x cubed, so um, quadratic and cubic functions. Um, but the key word here is change, okay? So, and so one, one variable ends up changing due to another variable, and this has like numerous applications. Um, so I can, I, can, I can give an example like, so um, like speed might be a variable, right? And this might be, um, this would be like or distance uh, divided by time, right? Time. And so what you do is you graph um, maybe increase of speed with change of time, okay? Like, or if you wanted to, um, you might go um, time is equal to speed uh, times distance. And then you might plot um, time uh, with respect to like distance or something. Whereas the speed's constant, but you you plot one versus the other. You wouldn't plot um, more than uh, two variables. Well, with with the uh, two dimensional Cartesian plane, you wouldn't. Yeah. yeah um, so, what I thought we'd do is we'd look at uh, changes of variables. Um, but we might um, look at this example that I've got here is um, maybe plant growth, okay? All right, so um, plant growth would be in terms of, um, would be in terms of uh, weight. In kilograms per uh, day. Right, and and that would be versus the day. Okay, so um, yeah, it's pretty simple. All right, so what what we do is we go all right um, two D Cartesian plane. Right, it's a very simple graph we're gonna make. Okay, so it's going to be very simple. It's going to be constant. It's going to be between um, uh, zero and four. Let me do it. Okay. All right. So let's zoom in. All right. I'll label it. Make it a bit better. Clients. Oops, clients. Growth. Kilograms per day. Time. And days. Alright. So, um, what I thought we'd do is we could, um, we could end up working out how much 
um, weight of the plant is actually um, growing over a certain amount of days, right? So, uh, so the question might be, what is the uh, weight um, of the plant given a constant growth of 0.5 kilograms per day. Uh, this is huge, like, um, <laughs> I don't think any plant would go this fast. Um, uh, for three days, all right? So, how would we answer this question? Well, what we'd actually do, um, if you remember previously, um, with the, oh, the, the background knowledge, uh, we looked at how to work out the area of a uh, rectangle, okay, with a 2D Cartesian plane, right? So what that was, um, was well, the area was equal to the length, uh, oops, the length times the width, right? And then this ended up being equal to the change of x by the change of y, which was um, x2 take x1 times y2 um, take y1. Right. Um, so, well, in this circumstance, it's um, if if we're going up to three. So, if I could, uh, I know I can, I know I can fill in under here, but I don't think it's gonna work. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do, I'll do, I'll draw a line here, and so we want this area essentially. Okay, so um, so what is it? It's three minus. So this is this part is um, um, x two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And this is x one. This is y two. And this is y one. Right. So um, x2 is 3, x1 is 0, right? times y2, which is 0 0.5 minus 0. All right, so what have we got? We've got um, 3 times 0 0.5, so that's um, 1.5 uh, kilograms per day. So, no, that's not right. Uh, 1.5 uh, days. Alright, now, so what I'll do is I'll put in the units here. I should probably have done that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made that mistake. Um, oh no, that's days. Wow. Too early in the morning for me. Three days. Uh, 0.5 kilograms per day. And you have it, 1.5 days. Alright, uh, I think, yeah, no, we'll, we'll go, we'll go to the next part. Alright, so, what we'll do is we'll minimise this and we'll go new 2D Cartesian plane. And we'll graph. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to answer another question. It's going to be, um, Sketch the graph um, of weight per day, um, which the plant grows. All right. Let's see if we can't. So, um, so we'd be asking. So, what is that? Okay. If we have, all right, if we just look at this, okay, and we go, all right, um, at day one, it would have grown um, 0 0.5, so 
So you go. Um, you do a bit of a table. Um, so day um, growth. So each day, each day it grows what? 0.5, right? So day one, and then growth 0.5, right? Day two. Well, we can take a guess, but we've already got one for day three, haven't we? Right? So that's 1.5. And we know that the growth rate is constant for each day, so we could say, oh, well, then two must be one. Okay? So this is uh, kilograms per day, and that's days. So we can end up plotting that. Um, right. So, it would look like this, wouldn't it? Um, where, where 3 would line up with 1.5, right? So this graph isn't exactly, um, uh, what is it? Isn't exactly y equals x, is it? y equals x is much steeper, right? So, so all we can do is we can work out um, what the slope of this function is. All right, we can do that quite simply. All right, we go. Um, so if anyone, mm, if anyone remembers that the equation for the um, for the line is y equals m x uh, plus c. All right, um, then you would know that m m is this uh, this rate, this rate of change, right? So y equals x, m is 1, right? But in this case, um, the increase is 0.5. So what this is, is actually um, 0.5x. Okay, and it lines up perfectly. All right, so, um, so then the function would be y is equal to 0.5x. Now, um, I, I know this because I've had uh, a lot of practice with it, but um, pretty much um, C is, if y, if y is 0, right, if y is 0, then that's where the intercept is for C. Um, but we can already see that it's going to be at x is 0. So, um, but what it, what it would be M is uh, x2 x2 take x1 um, uh, sorry y2 y2 take y1 divided by x2 take x1 so this is so let's let's choose um, Uh, let's say let's say we go by it was it three minus um, one no sorry one point five minus one divided by so um, so the this take this is three take two three take two and you're left with Uh, 0 0.5 divided by 1 and you're left with what is that yeah 0 0.5 right and let's say so for consistency's sake y equals 0 oops I'm doing another one y equals 0 um, then 0 equals um, 0.5x because we know what m is so that means therefore that x sorry oh, wow it's a bad day plus um, c No, yeah, but at at y equals zero, um, 
at y equals 0, x equals 0. So therefore, um, c or 0 equals c, yeah. y equals 0, we can see that um, x is 0, so c is 0. Alright?